Hey you, you should always have six months of expenses set aside for emergencies. Psst, psst, hey, I know a guy who says you need to have 120 minus your age in stocks. My guy says you should never have less than 10 times your salary in life insurance. This off the shelf, one size fits all, canned advice may sound good and it may be a good rule of thumb for some people or a good starting point, but it's not universal and there's no such thing as one size fits all advice. Find out more after this. Hey, it's Derek Hagan, Certified Financial Planner, Charter Financial Analyst. I'm a personal finance expert that started Money Health to give you the tools that you need to make smart decisions with your money, get a better relationship with money, and increase your financial health. Thanks for being with me for another Money Health Conversation. So, advice kind of flows freely in our society. People like, and oftentimes want, to think that there's some kind of universal way of doing things. Some one-size-fits-all thing, I just need to check these boxes and I'll be okay. But the sad truth is that this one-size-fits-all advice doesn't exist. What people want, people want to think that financial advice is kind of like going to the hat store. And you can take a hat off the shelf and this is going to work. This is one-size-fits-all. One-size-fits-all. But it's not one-size-fits-all. Even right in here it says... One size fits most. Okay, that means your head could be too big for this or your head could be too small for this. Uh, but let's ignore those people for a second. Let's assume this is in fact one size fits all. It's still not off the shelf ready to go. I have to take the hat and then I have to adjust it. I have to use this little guy here and fit this to my head. And there's little notches. You can probably see these little notches here. These little notches mean that I might be a half step or a quarter step. So it's not going to fit my head perfectly. Okay. So I know what you're saying. Saying, Derek, I've got better hats. I can, I can get this hat off the shelf. And guess what? This is Velcro. So this is going to fit my head perfectly. That's a better deal. Maybe, but it's still not off the shelf ready to go. I still need to buy the hat and I still need to fit it to my head. And if you're anything like me, depending on what level of clown hair I have at any given day, I might have to change this mid-month. So even hats aren't off the shelf ready to go, even if they are one size fits all, one size fits most. So if hats can't even come off the shelf, and work for everyone, how is personalized financial advice? It's not, it doesn't exist. It's a unicorn. I hope you don't believe in unicorns. But the good news is that now you know this. So someone comes to you touting some advice that you need to do or that you should never do, or you never do this, shouldn't do that, you can thank them. Say, thank you. Thank you for thinking about me. Thank you for, thank you for giving me what you think to be good advice but it's unlikely to work for me. Thank you anyways. And if someone comes to you looking for some kind of financial advice, you can stand up straight, pump up your chest, look them right in the eyes, and confidently say, well, that all depends. And that's good money help. Thanks again for being with me. If you liked the video, consider hitting like or subscribing. If you know somebody that's on either end of this, Either they're always running around tossing out financial advice that they think is universal or somebody always coming to you asking for advice that they think applies to them. Please feel free to share this with them. You can learn more at moneyhealth.blog. That's where you can join the Money Health community and by doing so you'll get access to the free Money Health ebook library. So check that out. If you're feeling stuck and think that advice tailored to your specific situation would be helpful, I can help you through Hagen Financial. You can learn more about Hagen Financial at hagenfinance.com. This has been another Money Health Conversation. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.